so the other day I was watching this Kanye interview um, from way way back from 208 and he said something like how fucking Maria Ponta then somebody in the comment was like how Kanye in 208 how fucking Maria Ponta yeah then Maria's Kim okay I'm not gonna comment on that I'll just leave that for you to decide how you feel about that but it was really interesting to see Kanye a few years later being the guy rapping like one good one good bitch is one a thousand bitches which is a dope line yeah but uh that she made me think about like uh, the state i was in a couple ma- a couple months ago because a couple months ago i really wanted to be a bad boy like for real, i really wanted to be a bad boy i remember like i was trying to get into arguments i was trying to like uh, talk rude rudely like uh, whatever I said was mean yeah i remember like uh, there's this guy in the school whatsapp whatever group he was talking shit ab- about like um, periods and i was like why the, why the fuck will you know that shit like it was really like corny like why the fuck will you know all that shit about women you don't even have, you don't even have a pussy so i just typed like nuts in capital letters i know that guy still hates me until now i haven't met him but i know he hates me yeah i also remember like uh there's this kenyan dish called ugali if you're kenyan i know that sounds corny but my friend is bad at cooking it really bad at cooking it and uh his excuse is that he started cooking it last year so that's why he's fucking terrible at it and this shit like popped in my head like so i asked him like why you ever taught how to fuck why you ever taught how to fuck do you fuck your girl and uh, you tell her like um, i'm fucking terrible at this shit because i just started fucking a couple months ago that's why i'm terrible at this shit no some things you just learn yeah and you try to get <laughs> You just put your best foot forward yeah <laughs> okay it was how to be a bad boy yeah and i remember like uh making a video on instagram talking about this like bad bitch yeah i remember i uh, said something like uh, she not only smokes weed but she sells it yeah then i ended up like making jokes about like uh, uh i was not that insane like uh i was not gonna get me a girl that sells weed she always she rides around with bicycles selling it I'm not, i was not gonna get a bitch like that yeah so i said i made a joke about you saying like uh so i went back to my like um how to know you love her technique where you jack off and then if after jacking off you still want to think about her then she's the one then i've said something like uh so far there hasn't been any it was kind of funny though yeah <laughs> but uh it was really interesting not interesting But then I, re- I came to realize like uh, the reason why I wanted me a bad bitch, broken English, I wanted me, okay, uh, let's just move on. I wanted me a bad bitch was because I was not happy and I thought a bad bitch was gonna make me happy, yeah. But then uh, now I really don't wanna fuck around, you know what I mean by that, but I, I don't wanna fuck around with bitches because I wanna find my happy, I wanna find happiness from within, yeah. I wanna be happy by myself. Then if I get a bitch, then I become even happier. Yeah. So I came to realize like uh, that's one of the reasons like marriage is like uh, end up breaking up. Like there's a lot of this. There's a lot of divorces because of that. Because people get together because of the wrong reasons. Like I want a bad bitch. Yeah. That's the only reason I wanted to get together with that girl because I want a bad bitch. Oh, she has money. I want money that relationship is gonna fail oh she is a bad bitch she is beautiful okay maybe that that's a factor maybe i don't know i don't know what i'm trying to say but uh it's really nice to get together for the right, right reason which is like you love each other you really love each other yeah uh what else guess that's it like uh, I wanted to pose a question to you would you marry a porn star that is I think the title of this video I don't know yeah. will you marry a bad, uh, porn star so do you want, really want a bad bitch do you really want a bad bitch yeah because some, some things like uh, <laughs> so I remember watching a lot of listening to a lot of Patrice O'Neill and I still do get some advice from him but 
things like uh, open relationships they seem cool when you see other people doing them yeah like uh, swing clubs they seem cool until you see your bitch being fucked by another guy yeah probably before they're bigger dick than yours then it doesn't be then it is not interesting then it's not fun then it's not fun it's fun to like uh, have the idea like oh i'm gonna fuck a lot of bitches but we still love my bitch but seeing your bitch fuck another guy having the just thinking about that like my girl is out fucking another guy i don't know i don't know my girl seems nowadays it's really hard to find a good bitch like a really good girl i don't know what i'm saying but that 